Hey everyone, this is Super Texture. Um, today I want to show you a little trick with Adobe Fireworks CS3, and it's fading a picture from white to color, black and white to color, and it's actually a really cool trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and it's great for if you want to make a wallpaper or anything like that. Um, this is a very cool trick, um, one of my favorites actually, and I have this cool picture of um the northern lights that I'm going to use. So, let's get this started. Alright, I'm going to go to fireworks document and it remembers the size of my picture because I already did this. So, um, for this picture I have my width at 900 and my height at 587 and my resolution is 72. Uh, just fit it fit the um, document to the size of your picture. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. I have my transparent one. It doesn't even matter if it's transparent because it's going to fit the whole um, document. So I'm going to go to Edit, Paste, and there's my picture. And what you do next is you go over here to the um, vector box and you hold this little rectangle tool and it kind of shows you all these different shapes but I'm going to keep using the rectangle tool so okay so I'm going to make it bigger than the actual picture because you want to make sure that it's not going to be too small and I'm going to make it halfway through my picture I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let go and it's white there's nothing there so it's just white, and if yours is not white, go to the color and click white. Alright, and now you want to go to Feather. I mean, you want to go to Edge and click Feather. And you want, I put it at 100 to make the fade look way, way cooler. So, that's what mine looks like. So, I'm going to go to um, the effects over here. So, I'm going to change it from normal to color and it's black and white there you have it and if you go up here to the pointer tool you can move it around anywhere you want and that is a really cool trick um, I just think that that is really really cool so I wonder what this does oh you can you can change it from black and white to any color you want so right here at the bottom that's kind of my color for my um, YouTube channel is that light blue color that's really cool so I just wanted to show you this trick you guys and um, I just thought it was really cool to use and if you're a designer I mean it's a great trick so again thanks YouTube and I hope you guys use this trick to the best and uh, using Adobe Fireworks CS3. Okay, see ya YouTube.